Hello folks. Many a time if you go out in the field and uh, inspect the panels which have been performing uh, in the field and uh, producing electricity for a number of years, if you inspect them closely, sometimes what you'll find are these uh, effects such as uh, you might find that the solder wire or the stabbing wire which is uh, connecting uh, the adjacent cells it might have uh, melted and it might have uh, this uh, coloring to it many times if you examine the back sheet like if you turn around the panel and uh, you look at the back sometimes you might find these spots or these colorings which indicate uh, some kind of heating or burning uh, kind of an effect which happened uh, at the cell which was placed uh, above it. Uh, also you might find that uh, sometimes this uh, glass which is uh, encapsulating uh, this uh, panel might have uh, cracked. And some of these effects are related to hot spots which uh, are formed uh, in uh, solar panels. An extreme case of it, and I want to emphasize uh, the word, uh, this adjective extreme, and also in a very rare case, uh, what might uh, these hotspots lead to is that it might result uh, in uh, a fire or it might result uh, in uh, burning of these solar panels. And you definitely don't want to see this, especially if this panel is uh, placed on top of your roof and I want to emphasize that this is a very extreme and a very rare case. The probability of this occurring is very very low so there is no need to be worried and uh, there are many measures that you can take to uh, to prevent this from happening and uh, one of them is what I'll talk about uh, in uh, this video. So let's talk about how these hot spots in solar panels can result due to the effect of uh, shading that uh, we have been studying. Okay, so again, I have uh, what I have over here is uh, these uh, good cells. Okay, and I have uh, eight of these uh, good cells. Uh, I'll just take uh, n number of good cells, where n in uh, this case is equal to uh, eight. And I have this one bad cell, which is uh, which is uh, indicated uh, in uh, red over here. So this might be a cell on top of which a leaf fell, and uh, it completely blocked out the light which was uh, incident uh, on uh, this cell. Okay, so. I will explain why this results in creation of a hot spot and uh, how to avoid it. Okay, so let's figure out what would be the IV characteristics of this uh, overall circuit. Okay, so I have these N good cells uh, connected in series first of all. Okay, so their voltages will all add up and uh, their current would uh, remain the same and they would look uh, something like this you know where you have a high voltage and a constant current uh, flowing through through this uh, through this uh, through this good cells okay but now what happened if i have a bad cell which is uh, connected in series so let's say this bad cell it has the iv characteristics which uh, look like uh, let's say like uh, this Okay, so what we see in uh, this IV characteristic is that the, the short circuit current of uh, this bad cell, it has uh, degraded uh, severely due to this uh, shading. And also I've plotted uh, in this case, uh, in the reverse bias, the IV characteristic, it's essentially the current uh, is, uh, is uh, increasing as you apply increasing negative voltage, or essentially it's uh, not uh, saturating. Okay, so if you have a bad cell whose IV characteristics uh, look like this and n number of good cells which are connected uh, in series, what would be the overall IV characteristic of this uh, whole system? Okay, so in one of the previous videos we covered that to determine the overall short circuit current of the system you can flip around the bad cell around the uh, around the y-axis and then the resulting point at which this iv characteristics they intersect the good cell okay that would be the 
overall short circuit current of your system okay so the overall short circuit current of my system would be somewhere around here okay and uh, in the series connected system the current is limited by the bad cell remember the analogy that a chain is only as good as its, uh, as its uh, weakest link so this is the cell which would be limiting the overall current uh, in the system and the overall iv characteristics can look something like this where it would uh, essentially result in uh, an overall IV characteristics like this. So since this cell in, is in series, it adds up a little to the VOC, okay? And, uh, but in most of this region, the current is limited by this bad cell. And also this bad cell is uh, being uh, driven into reverse bias, okay? So it's very important to understand is that this bad cell is being driven into reverse bias, okay? So all of these other cells, they are essentially uh conducting current in uh, in this direction and they are forwardly biased okay but this bad cell since it cannot afford to conduct that uh, current when it's a uh, forward bias it's driven into reverse bias by all these good cells okay and all of these cells are trying to produce power while this bad cell is essentially dissipating all that power okay so if i look at this overall system and if I look at its IV characteristics, okay, the maximum power that I can extract would be essentially the area of the rectangle which can fit uh, underneath it, okay. But if I had all N good cells, they are essentially producing a much larger power, okay. I can denote that by the area which could be fit under this N good cells, okay. So this is what N good cells are producing and uh, this is what uh, this rectangle is what i'm able to extract out okay so all that remaining power is being dissipated in this uh, bad cell which is under uh, reverse bias and that can result in the temperature inside this bad cell very quickly increasing okay and uh, it can lead to this hot spot which can then subsequently lead to lead to all of these other problems uh, that we saw Okay.